Does he got to pee? That's a place to go. Yeah. There's a puppy here. So I got this thing I'm trying out, because Taylor is kind of a wuss and didn't want to work out today. I got this thing. It's a 20 pound, well it does, it goes up to 40, but I got 20 in it right now, because I'm old. Of uh, It's got like, I don't know, lead shot bags in it, and uh, I'm just trying to, it's like a weight vest. So I figure I work in an Escher painting and walk like 10 miles a day, so that I can get that hot right there. That's, that's the look I'm going for. That's still not coming out. Do we need to pull it all the way out and get out of the door to do it? Sure. It's not often you see a guy with a sledgehammer working on a radiator, but you know, you know I support this. You if that's your thing, you let's go. Sure. This radiator is done. Yeah, it's trash. Oh, okay. We're getting a new one. Can't you see? It's everywhere. You know, when you take off the big black posy parts, it, it gets everywhere. That it No, does this that. was from driving. Oh. The under is from taking that off. Okay. That can't be good. It was spraying this way. That's usually a bad bad sign there. Yep. I'm not a car guy, but they're not, they're not. I got that figured out. When there's when there's a green puddle under the car, you're you're having a bad day. I'm thinking about using that to make a geodesic dome. I just gotta figure out how to do the ends. Like do I wanna fish mouth them? Weld them, because then I'm welding stainless, and that's a pain in the ass. Okay, yeah, to the 300 people who are commenting, yes, I know, it's easy to weld stainless if you have the right equipment. We don't. Uh, but I could crimp the ends, drill a hole, and bolt them together, and then I could bend them at the right angle, and that's easy. Can you imagine fish mouthing and welding the ends of all the tubes for a geodesic dome? That. You pull that off, that's some serious mojo. It's a lot of work. Oh, hey, fence guys are doing stuff. Fence guys are here. Another fun filled day. This is cool. Kill the tunes real quick. This is cool. I'm, I'm excited. So, is this for the one across here? Yeah, it's going to be uh, kind of at an angle. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to open up there and then shoot out to there. Cool. So that's kind of the point. This is going to be the workshop area, and that's the public area. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. Because everyone's going to walk through here. You can demonstrate whatever you need to demonstrate. And keep them out of your area so it's down to your tools, slash, everything. Yeah. We've never had a problem with that before. <laughs> this gentleman is taking off the pokey danger bits. Now you know how it's done. <laughs> That's a common problem around here. I was doing a great to you turn damn camera on. What's your name? Will. Will? This is Will. He's a third generation wire bender. His family moved here from what was then Czechoslovakia. They came here about uh, 120 years ago and they've been bending fence wire for three generations now. He studied under the, uh, the artisans in the trade. He's a true master, you see this. With nothing but a pair of simple pliers, this man is able to bring forth artisan quality works of majesty and beauty. Mad skills. Thank you, sir. So what's your name? Uh, Jeff. This is Jeff. Jeff puts bands on pipe. Oh, flanges. 
Hinges. Hinges. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, basically just bulldog. Engineered pieces of structural steel. <laughs> basically. Yep. You know, and then just hangs the bulldog hinges and everything from the actual gate and then attaches it to the other poles. This gentleman puts the hot in hot dip galvanize. That's right. Maybe, yeah, right. Legit craftsman here doing cool shit. And then there's Dan. And then there's Dan. Oh, that's kind of cool. Dan's making art. It gets cooler if you flip the middle piece first. I did. Yeah. So you snap that, hit it on the end piece here, flip it, and then do it slow. That's the sex. See how that turned out. Yeah. Let me know when you're ready. I'll flip them. Hold on. Okay, you ready? Hit it. Wait. First that one. Damn it. First that one. Then that one. Go. Meta as fuck. Oh, you're getting the slow mo. Yeah. Oh, that's sexy. That's the idea. That's cool. It just looks. I, I can do the slow mo. Watch. <laughs> slow mo. <laughs> you just turn it slower. <laughs> I mean, if you got somebody like, there's certain things that, like, okay, I can understand using slow mo, but for that, you just. It's going to look really good on Instagram. Okay, I believe in you. It's, it's the slow down on the frame rate. I got nothing but faith. It's very technical. <laughs> so I wonder what we can do with these. This is a silver lamp from a really expensive piece of testing equipment. But it's about to be art. I'll be back. I need two hands for this. Oh, here, I'll just set you guys over here. You can watch.
already got pins there, and we've got things that plug into these, so we can run power to these, because we don't need to worry about this one. It may be, I don't know if these have a filament in them or not, I found out, we might be able to run the filament and just make it blow on its own. Right. That's why I was kind of wondering. This is going to be art. Oh, what I was trying to say to you earlier. Oh, yeah, what? I bet he'd make a cute lamp or two. <laughs> that arm would make a cute <laughs> lamp. <laughs> way lighter than the other arm you wanted to make into a lamp. Well, that's a valid point. Get the thing out of my way. So, time is 1629, and the guys are finished. You can lock Dad in there. I can show this to you guys. Check this out. It's so cool. The finished cage for high voltage. We now have a separator off here. There's, there's a little fence. So this is staff only area. That's for tools, equipment, stuff like that. Workshop space. This inside the cage is obviously the danger danger space. And then out here, all the stripy floors that point you right out safely are the... Uh, this is the public viewing area. So this is the high voltage viewing gallery. And we can even lock the cage if we have to. We have big, beautiful double gates so we can move heavy equipment in and out safely. And now we gotta put all that shit back together. <laughs> so it's gonna be a job. But it's coming, I'm excited. Thank you to the awesome guys at Fence Consultants. Oh, hey, check it out. We can zoom. Thank you to the awesome guys at Fence Consultants for making this happen. You like that? Professional awesome zoom there. That's right. I'm professional. So this is this is really cool. That is that's a for serious block there. I like it. You gotta have them both lined up just so. Yeah. This is cool. I'm genuinely excited. And this opens either way. Ooh, see if we get a little creative, we can make it so we can just keep people the hell out while we're in here doing our lamp work. So Tim's putting the finishing touches on another one. We got this one. I started this today. That's gonna be so cool. So this is gonna be a pretty awesome lamp. And I have another one of those. This will be one with the, uh, the vacuum tubes that light up. Where did I put that? Yeah, I got this. That's going to be cool. That's going to be a kinetic sculpture thing. And I don't know where the little gray one went. That's it, isn't it? You're putting, okay, yeah. you're doing final assembly. So there's that. That's pretty cool. Turn the music back on for Tim. I'll be back. All right, so I get that it's a wound rotor controller, but what the hell does it do? Like, I get ground and M123, which is probably three-phase motor winding connections for a three-phase motor, so motor one, motor two, motor three. Here I have S1. And there's some, uh, some notation on here for resistance. What the hell is this? And what does it do? And what can we do with it? That's who made it. Help me out, guys, because that's too cool. It's just too cool. I want to get, I I wanna get your reaction because you I'm haven't excited. seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. I'm excited. So.
stay here a second. I'm gonna turn the music off. Okay? Just, just wait a second. Okay, come on in. Mm -hmm. Oh, it opens even wider than the other one did too. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, I see what you did. I see what you did there. I like that. I like that a lot. The big fancy ones again. Dude. So awesome. Oh, I didn't notice that one. Uh, yeah, I, I, of course they did. I just didn't walk over. I was like, oh, hey, there's a new thing. Also, you know, we should have. Pilot light does his thing. Sam did his thing? Yeah, he was in Sam. You're right, it's a little feedback loop thing. Yeah, He's yeah. labeled it now, so when we actually do it. Yeah, it's part of the safety loop. I knew it was something, I just didn't know which one it was. He was like, I don't know if I know which one it was. I was like, well, you're he the figured one it out. Know. Yeah, clearly. We so got we got a real high two, voltage cage here. Wide one and a narrow one. I like that. Yep. Yeah, this is for bringing equipment in. Right. I like that a lot. This is cool. Thank you, guys. So now, what I want to do is cover up to that bar on the inside with just a layer of eighth inch polycarbonate. Just to keep the little shrapnel. Yep, just, just to protect. Have issues with people? We never have, but They're let's do it right, so. yeah. And there's, there's no reason not to. If we can get it donated, we'll make it happen. Do we have I'll be back. Time?